Well, good morning everybody. How y'all doing? Pretty good here and welcome to the channel. It is grill replacement day. The new grill is here. If you saw my video yesterday, day before, um, the new grill came, did a little unboxing, showed you guys what it looked like. Uh, what I'm replacing, of course, is the grill and the bulge on the front of the Tacoma here. Obviously the grill and the bulge to be color matched like uh, the rest of the truck. So we're going to set up, going to do a little install. This is supposed to take 15 minutes. So I figure an hour, hour and a half. We'll see. Anyway, uh, have a look. All right, to start off here, it looks like we have four bolts in the front. Here, 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 here. And then these little uh, cabby things here on the side that you get to contend with. So once we remove all those, the grill should be free, except for any little... Uh, Oh, little holders that it has below. Up above, oops, camera sliding all over the place. It looks like we have three bolts to take out here. One is uh, here, one here, and one over here on the other side. And then these little tabby things, again, I'll call them. I don't know what they're called. I have to contend with, and that's it. So it takes a... Uh, 10 millimeter socket um, to get these bolts out so we're gonna we're gonna start there and uh, see what happens we also have to contend with this uh, sensor thing behind the Toyota badge here and it just plugs in from the back but I can't see how it comes off uh, just looking at it from the top so once I get the grill loose and can pull it forward a little bit um, We'll take a closer look at that. I'm sure it's just one of those plug-in, well, I know it's one of the plug-in connectors, but uh, we're gonna take these bolts off and get moving. All right, that takes care of all the screws. So now, um, we're gonna have to take out these little we are these little tabs here on the edges there are two of them it looks like and I'll use a, uh, a little screwdriver to try to pry those a little bit don't want to damage them because I need them obviously for the next grill so let's see if we can't get under those Easily. Oh yeah. Wow. <laughs> they come off very simply. You just got to make sure that you go underneath the top part of this head here versus the whole thing at the bottom. I mean, you could do it that way, but there are little slots here. I don't know if you can see, uh, but you can get under to pull those out. <laughs> Works really simply. The other one. Wow. That was almost too easy. Okay, would you like to press through? Mm -hmm. Well, go ahead. There's Krista run it, running through the uh, film for the video. All right, let's see what we've got now. Okay, we're free. Now I'm gonna do this rather gingerly because you know, I don't wanna break anything. Now supposedly, it should just pop right out. There are clips underneath, I'm told. Um, so we're gonna see. Again, I don't wanna break anything, so we're gonna take it nice and slow. All right, to save a little batio, batio, battery time, I'm gonna pause you guys for a minute till I figure this out. Uh, and then I'll tell you how I did it. Stay All right, the key here is muscle. Uh, you just got to muscle it. I just had to pull straight out towards myself um, And it pulls right out With a little muscle now As I told you before there's the sensor here in the front and then there's also Another little Sensor thing that kind of feeds through that plugs in uh, over here in the top right right in the middle of your screen on the top Right here, if you guys can see that, all part of this sensing thing down here. So we have to transfer this to the uh, new grill. 
Um, and then we can put it back on. So we're going to do that. Set this thing aside over here a little. And everything is very dirty. So let me uh, get that thing set up here and the new grill set up so I can do that part. And we'll be back. A little more involved than uh, without that sensor thing in the front, I'll tell you. Okay, thought I'd uh, stop in midstream here and show you guys. The sensor from the old grill, we'll call it now, is here. And there's also a wire running up to here for another plug-in. So there's two plug-ins on this thing. One here for the, the sensor and one up here for the sensor. So you have to remove all of this stuff and then put it over here into the new grill. So we're going to do that now. I'm not quite sure how it comes out yet. We're going to take a look at it. I believe it's just tabs. It seems everything is tabs. I didn't see any screws. So we're going to tackle that part and uh, and then we'll come back on. Stay okay, tuned. I'm here to tell you this is a little more involved than just switching out the grill. Um, you have to take off this cover thing on the front. That's for the uh, sensors, radars, all that crap. And in doing that, uh, it has two little tabs here, if you guys can see, there and there, that have these lovely little washers, you guys can see, over them. You can't get these off, at least I couldn't, without breaking these tabs. So they're broken, but it does have all these other tabs here that hold the thing in. So I'm not too concerned about that. I got it off. Once you get these out, it's a piece of cake. These tabs just push in and it pops right off. No big deal. It's these stupid things. And after that you have, let's see, you have the actual center sensor thingamajigger itself, which is right here. This little square thing. This has two bolts holding it in, actually three. One on each side, one on the top. You have to take those off and then this piece just comes off. Underneath here, which were in, I'll turn you this way, which were in these slots right here are just little uh, bolts, if you will, that uh, just slide in and then you screw back down through there so you have to replace those from the existing grill into the slots on the new grill, very simple, and then you screw back into them and that's it. Otherwise, there's the wiring harness here uh, that just slips right back into this little tab here, very simple, and then you can hook it back into the uh, sensing unit itself, get it plugged in up here on the top so that you can plug the existing harness that's in the truck back in and then put the grill back on the truck. So I'm going to finish uh, screwing this crazy thing in here and uh, and then I'm going to pop the uh, cover back on right here which is simple and then we'll put the grill on the truck. So stay tuned. Let me finish this up a little bit. Not much left to it really once you figure out what you're doing. 15 minutes? No way. Give yourself two hours. You're right. All right, we've got the new emblem on. This is by far the most time-consuming part of this whole uh, endeavor here. But you can see it's on. It went on very simply. No big deal. And over here, I'll flip it over for you, just so you can see it. This is the old, no longer to be used, dirty, dirty nasty grill. There you go. The centerpiece is gone. Now let's see about putting it back on the truck. Okay. All I did was push it on. I couldn't show you anything because you can't see anything. You just line up the tabs on the back of the grill from where it came out. Pretty simple. And uh, it just snaps right back in. Very simple. Now it's just a matter of putting the uh, little tabs back in. And here's a little tip. When I took these out, you guys can see that, um, I actually pushed the top part back down in. You don't want to do that. Pull it back out like that, stick it in the hole, and then push it in. That's how they work. Just like that. Then we need to put our screws back in. So 
So we need our uh, socket. And we'll line those back up. Easier said than done. that's about it so that's it we got everything in we do have to remember to plug our sensor back in you know the thing that caused so much grief it's uh, right here in this little access panel and it's sitting right here with the uh, other one that I put in right down there swapped it over from the other grill um, that takes care of that and then we'll put the cover back on you got to keep that from the other grill of course that's it. That is all you have to do to switch this grill. Now, it did take me a long time. It took me probably an hour uh, to figure out how to do this sensing thing that's on the front because it's, it's not intuitive. Um, and then I broke to a little class getting it off. It doesn't matter. There's plenty of other holders. They're more like locators. Um, but it's on. Looks great to me. Now we're going to tackle the bulge. Hopefully this is going to be a little bit easier than uh, than what I just did. So let me set you up. We'll let you guys watch that endeavor. We've got the screws out. So now, from what I've seen, you should just be able to grab this thing and jerk it. So that's what we're going to do. See what happens.